Hey guys, Oliver here, and welcome back to our Swift series. In this video, we're going to be talking about the while loop. Now, in the last lecture, we, discovered for, we discussed for loops, and for loops were something we iterate over. While loops, on the other hand, are very useful when you're not sure how many times you actually want your code to run. For example, with for loops, we knew it was a specific number of times. It was either 10 or 15, or it was the length of the array. However, with while loops, the case is that it's going to always run until the condition you specify is false. So I'm going to go ahead and create a counter variable, set this equal to zero. And then let's create a while loop by saying while counter is less than 10. Okay. So while counter is less than 10, print counter, and then, whoops, counter, and then increase counter by one. Okay. So var counter is equal to zero, while counter is less than 10, print counter, counter plus equal to one. This code by itself should seem very, very straightforward to you guys. Okay. All this is saying is that while this condition counter less than 10 is true, run this code. Whenever this condition is false, the loop will stop and this code will stop being executed. Okay. So if you run this code, let's go ahead and let it run in a Swift playground. All right. Fantastic. So it took a few seconds, but we got zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then when counter was 10, 10 is less than 10, print out counter, et cetera. Now you notice that my counter got changed. It was counter plus equal to one, counter is equal to counter plus one, both of them the same thing. I was just wondering why it was taking so long for it to run, but I'll go ahead and change it back. Okay. Now the next thing or the next type of while loop that exists is the repeat while loop. So if you're coming from a different language, you might've heard of the do while loop. The syntax in Swift is actually repeat while. So let's go ahead and do the exact same thing. Var, var counter is equal to zero. And we're going to say, repeat and we're just going to say print out counter counter and then we're going to say counter plus equal to one whoops sorry there plus equal to one and then what we're going to do is repeat this while counter is less than 10. so syntax wise it's almost the exact same while loop however what's going to happen is first swift is going to run this code and then it's going to check the condition okay so instead of checking the condition first, Swift will now check the while condition last. Okay. So now this code will run and you're going to get the exact same output zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then once counters actually 10, this code will no longer run. So those are the two types of while loops that exist guys. You have the normal while loop, which has a condition. And once that condition is false, the loop will stop. And then you have the repeat while loop where this code will first of all run. And then the condition will be checked. Always make sure that your while loop, the while loop condition, this condition that you have over here, this condition has to be false. Okay. If you do not let that condition be false, then your code will ultimately crash. Your exit will crash. Don't try it out. If you put a condition that is always true, okay, it'll lead to some pretty bad things. So always ensure that your while loop condition at some point in time will always be false. Okay. Thanks so much for listening, guys. That was Y Loops in a nutshell. I can't wait to see you in the next lecture. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you then.